What's up everyone? Hyaluronic acid, it's been used to fight arthritis and now it's making headlines for its skin benefits. The trouble is though, hyaluronic acid, it's a large bulky molecule. So in theory at least, it will just pass straight through us and won't have any effect at all. But with all of the headlines that hyaluronic acid is making, it can be difficult to figure out if it's worth our time. So in this video, we'll go through what hyaluronic acid actually is, whether our bodies can absorb it, what the research shows, and what I personally do with that information. By watching this video, you'll give yourself the best chance at having youthful skin, you'll protect your joints, and you'll save yourself a ton of money, because you'll only spend money on the things that genuinely work. And if you like this video, please do smash that thumbs up button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Now let's get into it. All right, so what actually is hyaluronic acid? So it's naturally found in many tissues and fluids in the body, and it's a major component of the extracellular matrix. So the extracellular matrix, all it is, is a scaffold to keep our cells together. So hyaluronic acid, it's found in large quantities in our cartilage and in our joint fluid. But the greatest amount of hyaluronic acid is present in the skin. So overall, the hyaluronic acid, it's vital in keeping all of our cells together. That's why it's found in such high quantities in our cartilage and our skin. In those particular spaces, we want to make sure that our cells have got a strong scaffold. The trouble is though, the concentration of hyaluronic acid and its molecular weight, they decline as osteoarthritis progresses with aging. So this just means that as we age, our cartilage, it doesn't have the support mechanisms that it needs to stay together. And not only is hyaluronic acid important in our extracellular matrix, so remember that's our scaffolds, it contributes to the cell proliferation, migration, and it's been reported to have many roles inside the cell. So because it's such an important molecule in our bodies, it's been used in the treatment of eye conditions, skin conditions, burns, wound repair, and other health issues. And there's even some suggestion that hyaluronic acid can help in the fight against cancer. So that's a long list of potential benefits of taking hyaluronic acid. But as we mentioned in the introduction to this video, there's a big problem with hyaluronic acid. Can we actually absorb it in supplements that we take? So hyaluronic acid it's a big molecule and there's been some speculation as to whether it can be absorbed at all. So because of the concerns regarding if we could actually absorb the hyaluronic acid that we take as a supplement, instead what researchers were doing was bypassing this entirely and directly injecting the hyaluronic acid into joints. They were hoping that way the hyaluronic acid could actually get into the joints where it could have an effect and stop arthritis. So the first therapeutic injections of hyaluronic acid were done in animal joints and they were performed on track horses for traumatic arthritis. And while this yielded some great results, something surprising came up in the research. It was revealed that there were elevated levels of hyaluronic acid in the blood after its oral administration in horses. And the effect of hyaluronic acid was actually found to be greater with oral versus IV administration. So this was the first tantalizing hint that we could use hyaluronic acid as an oral supplement. Furthermore, when the hyaluronic acid was injected into joints, it goes out of the joints within 14 to 18 hours. It diffuses into the surrounding tissues via the bloodstream, so it's rapidly eliminated. So what's going on here? Can humans actually absorb oral hyaluronic acid? Well, there's been studies suggesting that orally administered hyaluronic acid, it's first degraded into oligosaccharides by the intestinal bacteria, and it's those oligosaccharide hyaluronic acid molecules that's absorbed in the large intestine and then subsequently is sent throughout the tissues in the body, including the skin. So the great news is that according to the study, our bodies have got the mechanisms to absorb the hyaluronic acid from our diet, it does look like we can take it as a supplement and it will actually have an effect. And here we've got another study that's showing that the hyaluronic acid, it can be absorbed by humans and is distributed in part to the skin. The ingested hyaluronic acid, it contributes to the increased production of the hyaluronic acid and it promotes cell proliferation. And yet another trial confirmed the uptake of the hyaluronic acid in connective tissue. So yes, it does look like from these studies that we are absorbing the hyaluronic acid and it's having an effect on our cells. We're making sure that we've got that scaffold that keeps our cells together. So what sort of effects can we expect? Well, let's start with the big one. What does hyaluronic acid supplements do for osteoarthritis? So osteoarthritis, it's characterized by chronic and progressive cartilage damage. And one of the leading theories as to why this happens 
is because as we age, our levels of hyaluronic acid, they decrease. It means that our cartilage is not going to be as strong and it can degrade more quickly. So that's why there's the theory that if we directly inject the hyaluronic acid into joints, we could restore the properties of that joint fluid and we can promote the production of a higher molecular weight and possibly more functional hyaluronic acid molecules within the joint. So that's a great theory and all, but what does the research actually show? What happens when we inject the hyaluronic acid into joints? So in a randomized multi-center clinical trial, the hyaluronic acid, it was reported to be very effective and safe in the treatment of mild to severe knee arthritis. So that's great and all, but personally, I don't want to be injecting my joints. What about an oral supplement of hyaluronic acid? Can we actually improve our joints using an oral supplement? So we've got a study where they gave 200 milligrams of hyaluronic acid for 12 months, and there was an improvement in the symptoms of knee arthritis. And we've got another clinical trial backing those reports up that by using oral hyaluronic acid, we can get an improvement in arthritis. And for those of you who have watched the channel before, you know that I like to look at what the systematic reviews show. So that's where we pull together all of the relevant data, all of the clinical trials, and see what they show. So a systematic review of 13 clinical trials of oral hyaluronic acid, they found that there was a beneficial effect on knee pain compared to placebo. And that's a really high level of evidence. So when we've got 13 trials, we combine all of that data and we say, okay, if we take hyaluronic acid versus placebo, we are getting more benefit by taking the hyaluronic acid. So that's a big tick in the right direction. So let's move on to skin. Can hyaluronic acid as an oral supplement help with our skin health? So remember, the hyaluronic acid, it's a major component of the extracellular matrix of the skin, and it attracts water molecules. So it can be described as nature's moisturizer. Unfortunately though, as we age, the hyaluronic acid content in our skin, it continues to decrease. So what we're hoping is by taking hyaluronic acid as a supplement, we can reverse this trend. We can make sure that we've got youthful levels of hyaluronic acid. We're making sure that our skin does not have wrinkles. And once again, the first barrier that we need to overcome is will hyaluronic acid as an oral supplement actually get to our skin? And like we mentioned before, yes, it is absorbed by humans and it is distributed in part to the skin. So if we have a look at a trial where they gave oral hyaluronic acid, it led to a statistically significant increase in skin hydration and elasticity. Moreover, there was a significant decrease in skin roughness and wrinkle depth. And just to make sure that these results could be replicated in other trials, we've got one more trial where they gave 120 milligrams of the hyaluronic acid every day and they compared that to a placebo and they ran that trial for 12 weeks. And once again, the results suggest that oral hyaluronic acid, it stops skin wrinkles and it improves skin condition. So this is really exciting. It's another big tick in the right direction for hyaluronic acid. Now let's move on to some of those other claims. So hyaluronic acid, it's been reported to have important roles in skin and mucosal wound healing by influencing inflammation and granulation. Moving on to eyes, Hyaluronic acid, it's been implicated in various eye conditions, including dry eye disease in humans and animals. And the last big one that I do want to mention is cancer. So since hyaluronic acid influences a lot of signaling pathways, researchers found a lot of different methods that interfere with tumor progression. So yes, there's a lot of positive research coming out around hyaluronic acid, but we haven't gone through the risks. So in a large number of clinical trials, Hyaluronic acid has been found to be safe and well tolerated. And just to drive that point home, it's been shown that in a 12-month study of 30 patients taking oral hyaluronic acid, no statistically significant negative side effects were seen. So with any supplement, we need to make sure that the benefits are outweighing the risks. So with this research, we've got some great potential benefits and virtually minimal risks. So for me, it's a no-brainer. So I've elected to start taking hyaluronic acid. And by looking through the dosages that these studies used, I'm going to take 200 milligrams of hyaluronic acid every day. And luckily, when we have a look at one of the best-selling brands of hyaluronic acid on Amazon, it's not too expensive and it's very well reviewed. So quick disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with either of these brands, but the ones that I'll be choosing between is either going to be amazing formulations 
or do not age. And for me, I'm not going to be spending any money on hyaluronic acid skin serums. If I'm getting hyaluronic acid as an oral supplement, it will go into my skin as we've proven through these studies. So for me, I can't see a reason why I'd want to spend my money on having a hyaluronic acid skin serum. And on the topic of saving money, while I'm really happy to find another molecule that will help in the fight against aging, it's yet another molecule that I'm going to be adding to my supplement stack. So if you saw my video on Monday, you saw that I've added zinc to my supplement stack. So if I'm adding hyaluronic acid, my stack is just getting out of control. So what I've elected to do is stop resveratrol. So I'm already taking terastilbene to activate my sirtuins. So I've elected to stop resveratrol because it looks like terastilbene is better absorbed by the body. But please let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of this video and what you're going to do about hyaluronic acid. Are you going to start taking it or are you going to wait for more research? And if you liked this video, please do smash that thumbs up button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, thanks very much.